Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the default image duration. Okay, when we're working with lots of images, we'll change the default. I'll show you what the quirks are when you are adjusting the preferences or the default, and also how to change it on the timeline. And if we end up with gaps, how to remove those. It is 50% super duper easy and super duper strange. Uh, let me show you both. All right, what have you left over from the last video? You probably didn't do anything. You probably just watched me fluff about. Um, I want you to have a nice clean um, sequence. Okay, and what we want to do is I'm not particularly worried of how they're going to get applied. Okay, just grab them all. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to mind which order they're in. So just select them all, drag them onto your timeline. And what you'll notice is they're on a default of five seconds. So if I use my up arrow, okay, or down arrow, just to kind of jump, you'll see it. The little timeline. I pointed with my actual hand just then <laughs> onto my screen, not my mouse. You can't see my hands, okay? <laughs> right there, look. Uh, you can see though, over here, is the different five seconds, okay? So that's the default. So how to change them. Once they're on the timeline, it's really easy. Just select them all. So zoom out so you can kind of drag a box. And remember, whenever I drag a selection around them, you just kind of start in a no man's land. And kind of just click hold your mouse and drag them over. Right click any one of them, okay? And uh, yep, and just go to speed duration. We've done that a bit lately. So duration, we're gonna say you are three. Actually, how long? Uh, I was playing around with timing, okay? I wanted them to be about mm, two, uh, two seconds and 10 frames. Uh, I'll show you why in a second. Um, let's hit enter. You're like, great, that kind of worked. Now you can go through and click in there and delete them and you can get a bit of flow going. But you're like, there's got to be an easier way. There is. Okay, so if I undo all of that, back to how it was, I've gone edit, undo a few times. Okay, so I'm going to select them all again. Do the same thing. Okay, right click. Let's go to my speed and duration. And back to, you see it, don't you? You can see it there. Okay, so I'm going to 2 seconds, 10 frames. And let's click ripple edit. Okay, which does this. Yay! Okay, so that's how to do it on the timeline. Now, if I drag them back out again, the default is still five seconds. So it kind of depends on what you're doing. If you know that for the, the next wee while, okay, you need it to be changed, we're gonna change the preferences. Okay, to change preferences, um, actually, before we get started with preferences, this is gonna do some weird stuff if you've tried to do it and you're like, man, that didn't make sense. It doesn't, it's kind of strange. So let's look at it. So, so remember on a PC, it's under edit and preferences is down about here on a Mac. Let's go to Premiere Pro preferences and we're both looking for this one called timeline. Okay, so timeline in here, I'm looking for still image default duration. Okay, and I don't want it to be, remember ours was like 210. I want it to be 210, 2 seconds, 10 frames. This doesn't work here, watch this, if I click or oh, hit tab on my keyboard to get out, it's actually just put in 210 seconds, because it's, it's a little bit different from some of these other ones. I got caught out by this when I was uh, practicing this exercise for you. Okay, so in here, I need to do some math, either like something like that gives me close to what I want. You could probably work it out better than I could. Or frames, okay, so there is 25 frames in a second. I want 2 seconds and I want two seconds, 10 frames. Okay, I like to pretend like that just came to me right then, but no, nope, I had to practice that. Okay, up to you, but set your um, still default, but look what happens, okay, let's click okay. You're like, great, cool, uh, so I'm gonna add these things, I'm gonna grab you, I'm gonna delete these ones, and you know, I don't want those to be five seconds anymore, I want them to be, selecting them all, adding them all, and if I have a look, they're all still five seconds, and you're like, well, I'm just, why isn't that happening? Okay, uh, it's frustrating. Okay, it's because what ends up happening is those preferences apply to everything in the future. Okay, because these were already imported, when I imported them, okay, they were kind of like labeled with the default. Okay, they can't be changed later on. Well, they don't get changed along with the preferences because you might be using them in other places and they've got kind of default set to them now. So there are two ways to kind of circumvent this. You can either, let's select them all, delete them, okay? And let's delete all of these, okay? And re-import them, then, it depends on what stage of the project you're at. If you can just re-import them, easy. Because now they should all be uh, two seconds and 10 frames, okay? So there might be that chance though that you're not at that point, okay? And they're all just in here and you don't wanna have to go and re-import them because they're all over the place. So the way to get around that is, let's say that I wanna change my default preferences. I'm gonna leave the actual preferences. No, we'll change it. Um, you can just watch me. 
So let's say that I want to change it to seconds. I'm going to put mine up something really high so that it makes, I'm going to put mine up to 10 seconds. Okay. And obviously these haven't changed. They're still my two point, uh, two seconds, 10 frames. What I can do is I can select them in here and okay, instead of doing it down here, down here, and I right click them and go to speed duration, won't change what, what's going on up here. They're kind of separated. Okay, up here though, if I change them, I'm changing the defaults for these ones up here. So I can say you are now, say 20 frames. Uh, what do we do? Uh, 10 seconds, zero frames. Let's click OK. So now I can add these down here and they are really long. Okay, these are 10 second blocks. So it's up to you, either delete them and use the preferences to kind of change it, or you might just never touch your preferences and just right click them all because you might have different paces for different things and you just do it always right clicking them up here and doing speed duration. Does that make sense? Kind of three ways. You do it once it's already on the timeline, okay, forgetting about what the defaults are and just right clicking them and changing them. That just changes these unique kind of usages of them. If you know and you hate the five seconds because it is quite long, just go and change your preferences for all future jobs. Okay, and then either right click them in here to update them or just delete them and import them again. Overly complicated, I know. I understand the logic why Premiere Pro does it, but hey, it's, it's quirks. That's why we got a course. Keeps me employed. Okay, to tidy everything up, everything's got a bit messy. So what I'm going to do is I would like them all to be the uh, two seconds, two frame, uh, sorry, two seconds, 10 frames. I'm gonna change my preferences just for the future, okay? To go back to, for me, because I'm an instructor, I need to always go back to five seconds, just, it's a pain, okay? But I need to kind of keep it close to whatever the defaults are, okay? But you can have yours on whatever they are, but down here on the timeline, I'd like you to select them all, right click them, and just make sure we're at least doing something around here. Two seconds, 10 frames, ripple edit, Perfect, nothing changed because mine are perfect. Last thing to do before we go is just gonna add a backing music. So I'm gonna travel, sorry, close the bin called travel, back to project, close all that up under audio. Actually, I'm gonna import a bit of audio, okay? Um, it's one of the previous projects. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the audio bin, double click in this area down here, we'll go to file import, go to our exercise files. We're going to the project three and an audio here, there's a bunch of them. I want back and sides, back and sides, kind of one of the wisty ones. That'll look quite cool for this one. And this is the reason I picked that um, strange two seconds and 10 frames, because I felt like it had a good pace with this music. Let's have a listen. There's crossfading as well, so it's not as a literal cut. But anyway, that's, that was my decision making. Okay, so we've got our audio, probably a little bit loud. Actually, probably not. Music can be just a little bit higher than vocals because it's gonna be in a similar sort of pitch. And because we're not trying to balance it with audio, I'm not going to lower it down much. I worry that it bangs against the zero. Okay, but I'd probably still lower it just a teeny tiny amount. All right, that's us done. Uh, let's look at the next video. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel here. And also, if you wanna go a bit further with Premiere Pro, consider checking out my Premiere Pro Essentials course. There is a link in the description. Bye now.